So I'm going to be making a aluminum boat and I'm going to do my best to go through each step slowly so that you can follow at home and make one yourselves. So we're starting with a piece of aluminum foil that is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And the first thing we're going to do is fold this piece in half. So, now we're going to unfold that and fold each side to the middle. And do the same with the top. So now when we unfold that, we're going to have four quarters and three horizontal lines. So now we're going to take this side and fold it to the third line. Now we're going to take this corner and fold it to this line right here. And then we're going to take this entire thing and fold it down to that same line. And then we're going to take this corner and fold it to that line and then take that entire portion and fold it to that line. Next, we're gonna fold this part down to the line. And finally, we're gonna take this corner and fold it to that line. Next, we're going to fold this part down. So, and then we're going to take this part, part like this, fold it back, and then fold it up again. So it's like this. Now we're going to flip that so it's like this. Now we're going to take this corner and fold it down and then fold an entire portion over so that it meets the line already there. This line right here. Now we're going to take this corner and fold it to the line and then that entire portion up and folded to that line. So this might look familiar because it is what we did earlier, but now we're just repeating the same steps on this side. Then we're gonna fold this portion up so it meets that line and then fold this corner down. Now we're gonna fold that whole thing up We're going to take it like this, we're going to fold this back part back, and then back over in the opposite way. Now we're going to take it, unfold this part, with the point facing that way, so to the left, and we're going to start opening it. We're going to take the, the sides. like so, and open the boat. I'm going to make sure that these sides edges flat out a little bit, and there we have our boat. So I've put our boat into the water, 
and as you can see right now it is floating and I'm going to put pennies in it until it sinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to um, spread them out so that it doesn't sink. I'm trying to balance it. And looks like it's about to sink. Alright, now it's at 63. Let's see what happens if we put the 64th. And it sunk with 63 pennies. It sunk when I put the 64th in, so the, max, the maximum it could hold was 63. And I did my best to use clean pennies because they will have less mass, they won't have any dirt that would add mass to them. I was thinking that you might be wondering what made the boat float and then sink, so I made this slide to help explain that. Objects float in water if their density is less than the density of water, and objects sink in water if their density is greater than the density of water. Density is equal to mass over volume. The density of water is about 1 gram per cubic centimeter, which is equal to 1 gram per milliliter because a cubic centimeter is equal to a milliliter. I found the volume of the boat to be about 157.73 milliliters, and I found this by filling the boat before it went into the water, so when it was dry, I filled it to the top with rice and then poured the rice into a measuring cup found the fraction of a cup the rice was, and then converted that to milliliters. The mass of 63 pennies was about 157.5 grams, and this was found using each penny's mass to be about 2.5 grams. And the mass of 64 pennies was about 160 grams. So the density of the boat with 63 pennies was about 0 0.999 grams per milliliter. And I found this by taking the mass of 63 pennies and dividing by the volume of the boat. So if you remember, when there were 63 pennies in it, the boat looked like it was about to sink. And as you can see, this is because the density of it was very, very close to that of water. So it was about to sink. But when we put the 64th penny, it sunk. The density of the boat with 64 pennies was 1.014 grams per milliliter. So as you can see, this is greater than water, so it sunk. But keep in mind that these are approximations, and to have a more accurate density, the mass of the boat should also be taken into consideration, even though it won't make a large difference because the boat is relatively light it would still be important to have a more accurate um, density. So I hope this clears up any confusion. And thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.